coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. The NFL is down to its final four, and unfortunately, no Texas team among them. The Houston Texans was the only state team to make the playoffs. They're now headed to the offseason. Houston hung with Baltimore, even with a host of turnovers, managed to keep the road game close, still lost, but still a lot to like, but a lot of work to do come next season. First thing is the disappointment in everyone's eyes after that game. You could tell that nobody's satisfied, but then also the type of guys that we have. We have a lot of high-character guys who are extremely hard workers, who put everything they have into this team, and that's how you know that this isn't a one-time thing. That's how you know we're going to be back year after year. You know, we just expected more out of ourselves. And, but, uh, you know, I'm proud of the way all the guys fought through all the adversity. You know, we faced all the injuries this past season. You know, we had a lot of young guys step up and, and play big time for us. And that's that's encouraging for the future of our team. It takes, like I said, it takes a couple of weeks to kind of get over it. You know, uh, I'm sure when I get to look back in a couple of weeks, maybe watch the film of the season and, and see uh, how we played. I'll have a greater appreciation for it right now. But, you know, this kind of sucks because you want to be playing next week. So, Obviously, it felt great to play in these playoffs. We have a taste of that. We know what it's like. But this will probably be our biggest offseason because uh, we will have to step it up. You know, what we if we want to get there, we want to win a championship, there's another big step for us to take. So. By the way, in the offseason, injured starting quarterback QB Matt Schaub should be completely healthy. Also, linebacker Mario Williams is an unrestricted free agent. All right, let's go to the holiday hoops. We started in the NBA and, of course, in Washington, D.C., the uh, Martin Luther King Memorial. We pick it up with the Rockets and the, Ke and the uh, Wizards. Third quarter, Kevin Martin to Samuel D'Alembert, the slam. Houston up nine. Later in the third, it's Kyle Lowry for three, and it's 83-64 Houston. John Wall led a bit of a Washington comeback once he goes up the court. That's a tough shot. He hits it. Got to within nine. Final score. Houston goes on to win by eight. Oklahoma City won in Boston tonight. And right now, the uh, Mavs are in La La Land to take on the Lakers. All right, let's go to Big 12 men's action. Missouri hadn't beaten Texas A&M since 2004, uh, but it was all Mizzou today. Uh, Texas A&M led early, but then the Missouri got hot. That's Michael Dixon. Three. A little bit later, Marcus Denman. Watch this shot. Boom. Up and over a defender. Missouri by 14 at this point. Uh, it was all Mizzou. They go on to win by the final of 50. 170 is your final. Aggies lose. Uh, and unbeaten Baylor is about to get its first loss of the season mm. because they're in the fog tonight at Fog Allen. Kansas winning. The game's about over. All right, some final items. The uh, Dallas Stars on the ice tonight. On the road, they get a 1-0 defeat at St. Louis. The Denver Broncos say Tim Tebow will top the quarterback depth chart when they enter training camp next summer. Hall of Fame and QB and Broncos chief of football operations, John Elway, is going to work with Tebow in the offseason to polish his passing game. It is tomorrow down under. Play underway already at the Aussie Open. So far in the men's draw, top seed Novak Djokovic and the fifth seed David Ferrer advance. Women's play Petra Kitova and Maria Sharapova are your winners. And tomorrow night, another big night of high school hoops. A host of games on tap. We'll have highlights and scores. By the way, the uh, Frank Phillips women lost to Odessa College tonight by the score of 82 to 51. Would there be any doubt that Tebow would top the depth chart at this point in time? For well, they don't have any other quarterbacks yeah. on the roster. Who else is there? <laughs> they don't, they don't right. have a choice. <laughs> they got to go with Luck or, uh, so or, or Griffin. The draft. I don't think anybody else is signed. No. Yeah. That's it right now. Well, Unless we we could go back them up. Yeah, that could be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lee. Extreme sports are getting more and more attention these days. And what could be more extreme than a race on ice at night? See where that was happening this weekend. Next.